What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back for part number five of our live Pokemon Showdown Little Cup session. This is going to be the last time that we get to see this team in action unless I bring it to a Wi-Fi match or something, which I'm thinking about doing if I can find anybody to uh, do a Little Cup match with because they're kind of hard to find. Anyway, this team has been so much fun to use, so I'm kind of sad to see this end, honestly, and I might do some more Little Cup in the somewhat near future just because of how much fun I've had in the tier. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying. Uh, remember, if you would like to show your support, you can uh, do so on this video by leaving a comment or leaving a like or whatever you would like to do. All of those things do help, of course. But I'm not going to linger on that because hopefully we're going to find a battle. And it's lagging a little bit. There we go. This is a threatening team because he's got the Froakie. Uh, he's got the Wooper. Oh, okay. That is a bit interesting. Wooper does get the unaware, so that is a little bit unfortunate. The speed boost, Carvana is probably carrying a life orb, that's threatening. Ghastly can carry, it's usually carrying Focus Sash. So getting up rocks could be nice. Uh, he leads off with the Carvana. And I don't think this thing can just one shot me, even with the life orb. So I'm kind of tempted to just Volt Switch here. He may just protect for a speed boost, but I don't think he's gonna wanna stay in. I do not think he will. He doesn't have any immunities because, uh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, he just leaves, he just leaves this thing in to die. What? What just happened? Why would you do that? Because we speed tie if he's running max speed, but actually a lot of them run adamant. Ooh, that's probably what it was. He's probably running adamant because speed boost, you don't need the, uh, the extra speed as much. He should have protected or switched there. That was not really a good play. Now, is Wooper part ground type? I don't know if he just doesn't get it until he evolves. Uh, I kind of want to check that really fast because that would be good knowledge to have. Uh, Wooper is ground type, so he could have just switched that in. Uh, unless he really thought that I was going to go for the HP grass, which I don't know if he would uh, predict that at all. But anyway, we're going to go into Kerm here because that matches up pretty well against the rest of his team as he go into... <laughs> He goes into Kermit's son. So we have Kerm and Kermit's son. Okay. Well then. Uh, yeah, and he just says LOL in the chat because he knows what's going on. This thing has acrobatics. That was interesting. Um, but he... So I'm guessing he doesn't have an item? I don't know. That only that still only did 52% even though he gets stabbed. Uh, and we go for the knockoff. And no, he did have an item. He had Eevee Light. So now that's going to kill me. I was thinking he was going to be carrying the life orb. And if he didn't have an item, that was going to come really close to killing me, honestly, because he gets stab on it and everything. Uh, I don't trust that a vacuum wave will kill. I, what do I want to go into? Uh, I'm guessing he's just fully physical. I would hope if he's got the acrobatics, probably got like U-turn and waterfall and I don't know what else. So do I need sparks? Can I sack that? I mean, I guess I could. But I'm kind of tempted to just go into Ball Toy because I should be able to take a couple hits, maybe set up some rocks. But Ball Toy is looking like the least useful. As he does go over the acrobatics, that is not a two-way KO. He may just go for U-turn here. He may just do that. U-turn into the Ghastly, maybe predicting an Earthquake or an Earth Power. Uh, I can predict that and go for a Psychic for damage. But the Stealth Rocks are really going to help me in case he doesn't go into the Ghastly here. And it is Focus Sash. No, he has the Ice Beam. That just kills me. So he's mixed. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And it looks like we're going to be forced to go into Kerm then and just go for a Vacuum Wave. And I guess I should have done that from the onset of this. And that just kills because it is super effective. So, I mean, the one thing that I had going for me there is that uh, the Protean changed him to an Ice type. I, I'm just not sure if that was going to kill when it was neutral. And it definitely wasn't going to... Actually, it wasn't even neutral. It wasn't neutral because it went for acrobatics. So it was going to be a resisted hit. So it's a good thing I didn't do that. That would have been bad. We don't want to sacrifice Kerm because he's like the MVP of this whole team. Uh, this thing cannot touch Ducklet. Like, Ernie just dominates this thing. If he wants to scald me, that's fine. I'm immune to ground-type attacks. If he toxics me, hydration will heal that. He does go for the EQ. So that does nothing. We can set up the rain dance here. And he has no switch ins to this because you don't want to switch in your Axu on a potential Scald Burn. And I think Hurricane is a 2 at KO. 
and you don't want to switch in the Scraggy either because that just dies to a hurricane. He does go for the Toxic as we set up the rain, so we're going to heal ourselves immediately, which is great. And now we can just fire off some super high-powered Hurricanes and Scalds, and he switches in Callum on a Hurricane. That doesn't die in one hit because obviously it's Eviolite, but that does a butt-ton of damage, 66% to be exact, and another Hurricane does take it out. I don't think that was really a good play. Uh, looking at my team and looking at your team, I'm going to say that Wooper was not really that necessary. Other than checking the Electrike, but I can just kill it with an HP Grass. So you just sacrifice your one of your potential Sweepers in the Scraggy. And now he's going to go into Slasher the Axu. And I can Hurricane that or I can Scald it. I can do whatever I want. As he's going to turn on the timer, because I guess I'm taking my, I'm taking my time? I don't know. I didn't feel like I was taking that long to choose my moves. But I'll just go for Hurricane here. That does 47%, so it's not a 2 at KO, but he doesn't go for the setup move. He goes for the Dual Chop, which does 24% for each hit. I could rest here if I wanted to. Actually, no, I can't because the rain's going to run out this turn. So I cannot do that. So I might as well just get damage off on something. I could go for the Burn with Scald. Because if I burn him, then he won't kill me, and then I can set up rain. Um, but I kind of just want to switch here just because this ducklet is so valuable for taking on that whooper like it completely hardwalls it So I'm gonna get the intimidate off with Frank and that combined does 24% instead of 24% for each hit and now we can go for the willow is oh wait a minute Wait a minute. He left. I didn't even see that in the chat uh, So he goes for night slash and that did a whopping 8% after the burn and the intimidate so, yeah, that's going to be a victory for us. I'm not going to call it an episode here because this it's only been, what, seven minutes? Not even seven minutes. So I guess we can just wait for our victory. How long do we have to wait? 40 seconds? Uh, I'll just go out of that window and just let it sit there since he left. He's not coming back. So we'll go ahead and join the next battle against Fancy Chikorita, who this is like, this is the standard team right here. All it's missing is a Fungus, but instead he has a Ferro Seed. He's got the Apom, he's got the Pawneered, which is going to be SD Life Orb. He's going to have the Focus Sash Abra, uh, the Regenerator Life Orb, Mianfu, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we're dealing with here. So we give him a good luck, have fun as he leads off with... The Apom and Frank pretty much just checks it very nicely. We do see that it is Life Orb, so we can actually wear this down and then kill it with a Vacuum Wave. So that's good. I'm going to go for Will-O-Wisp here because I want to. I would really like to burn anything on this team that isn't Abra, and he's not switching that in on a potential attack anyway. Uh, he's probably going to go into Slowpoke, and the residual damage on that will be very nice. So I will take it. I will take it. That's really his only switch. Because if he switches in Ferris Seed and I go for Flare Blitz, it's dead or close to dead. Pawneer doesn't want to take all that damage. Mianfu is frail, probably not carrying the Eevee Light, as I'm just going to uh, claim my points here in this other battle. We're going to get to 1300 on the ladder, I'm pretty sure, if we win this match. So we're at 1299 right now. And he does switch in Hugs, the Slowpoke, to take the burn. So now he's most likely going to go for the T-Wave. I could use that to get a Lightning Rod boost with Electric, or I could just go into Ducklet because Ducklet just poops on Slowpoke. Because I just, I basically just PP stall it because it can't really do anything to me. Because I set up the rain and rest up. If he burns me, that gets healed off. If he T waves me, that gets healed off. If he toxics me, that gets healed off. And they don't normally carry anything that's not Scald. As he does go for the T wave, and I switch in Electric to get that free special attack boost. And now something dies, basically. Because we can fire off a T-Bolt. He has no immunities to that. If he goes into Ferrisseed, a Flamethrower is going to kill it. So a lot of people don't seem to realize that Electrike can carry Flamethrower, and they just switch in their Ferrisseeds all the time. Uh, and that just, that's going to die. There's no way you're taking this. So we can get this out of the way, and it didn't set up any hazards. That's fantastic. Anytime you can get a 2 at KO on Ferrisseed, that is a good day, in my opinion. As he does go for the Protect to scout for it, that was a good play on my opponent's part. And I really see no reason to just not go for it here. Because I'd rather him switch in the Slowpoke, because it can't do anything to me. I outspeed it, and it's just going to die. 
So yeah, he doesn't really have any switch-ins to that. Anything he switches in at plus one special attack is really not going to appreciate a flamethrower. So something basically just has to die, and he's just going to sacrifice the Ferro Seed, which I'm fine with. That means no hazards. That takes the pressure off of my ball toy. I don't have to worry about coming in and spinning. I can come in and attack if I need to. Which, looking at his team, I don't know how useful that's going to be. I may just use ball toy as fodder, honestly. So Boots is going to come back in. And this thing outspeeds me, and it's going to hit me with a very powerful fake out anyway. Oh, he just goes for the knockoff and gets a crit, which sucks. Uh, and he knocks off my Eevee Light. I guess I have to Morning Sun, because he's just going to go into Slowpoke. He has no reason to not go into Slowpoke. Because whether he predicts a Flare Blitz or a Will-O-Wisp, Slowpoke is still his best switch. But this thing is worn down now. It's down to 64% with the Life Orb and not the Eevee Light. I'm pretty sure that a Vacuum Wave from uh, Kerm just kills it. So that's good. Mission accomplished there. Now, without our Eevee Light, we don't really... We're not going to be um, walling the Mianfu and the Pawniard as easily. I mean, Knock Off does less damage, which is nice. And we resist Iron Head, but Sucker Punch, if he gets up to plus two, is really going to hurt. Um, and we have to watch out for the Defiant boost, too. So hopefully he, hopefully we don't have to switch in Frank on Pawniard. Anyway, he goes back into the Slowpoke as expected. He's down to 88%. He did get his uh, Regenerator, but that's just burn damage. And I really see no reason to just not go back into Ducklet here because he can't do anything. He's probably going to Scald too because I went into Electrike last time. So yeah, he goes for the Scald. I didn't want to take that damage on Electrike if I didn't have to. He does get the burn, which is unfortunate because he's going to get that extra 12%. And, oh, I clicked rest by accident. I did not mean to do that. We want to click the rain dance to set up that rain. He's probably going to stay in. And, oh, he's going to slack off. Okay. So, our burn is gone, which is nice. I could rest up here, but I really don't want him to get a safe switch. So, I'm going to go for the hurricane. Because if he switches in Mianfu, that dies. Yeah, he just leaves this in. Does 40% and we get the clutch confusion which is a little bit haxy, because um, it's like a 20% chance. But he broke through it, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. With the burn damage, though, Hurricane does 40%. He pretty much has to switch here. I don't think he's going to want to sack this thing. So we could either rest up, because he's going to switch, or we can Scald whatever's going to come in. I don't think we can Oko everything, as he is going to switch in Dean, the Pawniard. So at least we're back up to full health, which means we can come back in and take on that Slowpoke if I want to switch out here. Kind of tempted to just stay in and Scald this thing, though, because it has no recovery. And if I get a little bit of prior damage off on it, then Vacuum Wave just kills it. Even with Eevee Light, if that's what it's carrying. Because half the time they're carrying Eevee Light, half the time they're carrying Life Orb. Um, but like I said, yeah, if we get some prior damage off on this thing, uh, Vacuum Wave is going to take care of it either way. And he can't really touch Kerm. He has to Iron Head. And yeah. So there we go. And we resist the Sucker Punch. So that's great. So let's see what he wants to do here. I would assume he would just go for a knockoff. Because that does pretty decent damage to everything. Yeah, and he does. That does over half. And he shows the Life Orb. Skull does 86% to this thing. What? That's not even a fully uh, offensive ducklet. Like I have... EVs all over the place on this thing. That is ridiculous damage. He can't just go for a Sucker Punch here and kill me. I can't rest because I'll stay asleep because the rain's going to end. Kind of tempted to just click Hurricane in case he wants to get cheeky and switch something else in like the Slowpoke. We might be able to just 2-it KO it. Um, that did so much. If we got a burn right there, that would have been amazing. That would have been the most clutch burn in history. Or one of them. Like top 5. Top 5. Maybe top 10. Yeah, this thing is definitely, definitely just going to die to any kind of priority. Extreme speed, vacuum wave, all that good stuff. So this thing is not a threat anymore. The most it can do is take out Ernie, and then I can revenge it. Uh, as he just does stay in and go for the knockoff there, and he kills himself in the process because he's Life Orb. So that's fantastic to have Pawniard out of the way. Fortunately, we had to sacrifice our Ducklet, and that means we don't have a necessarily safe switch into the Slowpoke. Um, because, yeah, Ducklet just takes it to those defensive water types. It really does. So he's going to go into Boots again as I go into Frank, which is perfect 
because we get that Intimidate. I probably could just Morning Sun predicting either a Fake Out or a, a U-Turn here. He's not going to go for Knock Off. There's no reason. He already knocked off my Eevee Light. I really have no reason to switch either, and he does just go for the Fake Out. He's just dealing more and more Life Orb damage to himself at the cost of not really too much damage to me, especially when I have Recovery. I would understand if I didn't have recovery and wearing this thing down is important. Oh, he goes for the Fury Swipes, and he has Skill Link. So I am dead. I am freaking dead. Yeah, that was going to hit five times, so... Yep, 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 Frank was going to bite the dust even at minus one. Uh, now I'm pretty safe to just go into Kerm here and go for a Vacuum Wave. This thing doesn't have any priority. Have we seen all of its moves? Fake Out, Fury Swipes, Knock Off U-Turn, right? So he would have to switch out. If he switches into Abra, he breaks his Focus Ash. If he switches into Slowpoke, I can knock off. I mean, that would just sacrifice Kerm, so I don't know if that's the best idea. I kind of want to just switch in Puff here and try to win the game. Or actually, we wouldn't win the game, but it, we can deal a lot of damage. Because if I Dragon Dance, he still ha has that Abra without a um, broken Focus Sash. That's the problem. But, we don't really need the extreme speed for too much. That would really put the pressure on him to go out into the Abra. Which is kind of what I want to do. Because if I can bring it down to its Sash, then a Vacuum Wave gets rid of it and it's not a threat. And looking at his team, that's the most threatening thing. As he does go for the knockoff to knock off my Eviolite. And I am going to set up the Dragon Dance. So we're going to get up to plus one attack, plus one speed. And extreme speed obviously kills this thing. Because, you know, it's an A-Palm, and it's not Eevee Light. It's got a Life Orb. And all of the damage done to it, I'm pretty sure it's just from Life Orb. That's how many times, that's how many hits it got off in this battle. That's ridiculous. That is Ridicky Donkey. So the A-Palm is gone. No more Fake Out pressure for him, which is great. And he's under a lot of pressure to go into the Abra here. Psychic will kill me without Eevee Light. Uh, I don't know what else he would go into. If you go into... Yeah, you have to go into the Abra, that's what I thought, because Slowpoke just dies to an Outrage at this point, pretty sure. As bulky as it is, pretty sure it just dies, because it's just a teeny. Outrage is powerful. Um, now, I think I just outspeed this thing anyway, so I could lock myself into Outrage, but I don't want to do that if I don't have to. So I will take him down to his Sash with the Eviolite. 6% is 1 HP, right? Wait a minute, no, he didn't have anything activate. Huh? That's just, oh, we just, we just did that much damage. Okay, I mean, that's fair enough because 6% is still enough for Vacuum Wave to take him out. And that's exactly what I wanted. Now, yeah, the good play would be to switch out into Slowpoke here because you take absolutely nothing from the Vacuum Wave. He probably was predicting a Sucker Punch there because we haven't shown off our priority yet. For all he knows, I could still have it. But now he knows at least I have the Vacuum Wave. Not, not that that really matters too much but Slowpoke at least resists it. I don't trust Knock Off to kill because this thing still has its item, uh, so we basically have to switch. I need Kerm because that Vacuum Wave is vital. Absolutely vital. As he goes for the Fire Blast, we Scald and Fire Blast. That is interesting. That is very interesting, but I could just Volt Switch here. I could just Volt Switch and something either dies or takes a lot of damage. And he's just going to let his Slowpoke go down, which means he no longer has a resist to the Vacuum Wave. And we need to think clearly here. The Abra outspeeds Electrike and just kills me. Electrike speed highs with the Mianfu. So keeping it is not necessarily a necessity, because he could just win the speed tie with Mianfu and kill me. So that is the thing. Um, and Abra obviously just... Yeah, I kind of want to keep Kerm. So I don't want him to go into Mianfu if I go into Crowagunk, because if he kills me and gets a crit with something, I don't know what he would have, but if he just kills me somehow, then I have no answer to Abra and I just lose. Um, alternatively, Baltoy at full health can take out the Abra, because I don't think a Shadow Ball or Energy Ball just Okos this. But I would like to play it as safe as possible. Stealth Rocks doesn't matter here, because he has Magic Guard. I kind of want to sack this. I, yeah, I just kind of want to keep Baltoy. Maybe that was the wrong play. I'm going to go into uh, Electric. Let him go for the knockoff. We'll see if he's uh, Life Orb. He's not Life Orb. Okay, so he is likely carrying the Eviolite. 
And Mianfu can't do anything. He cannot do anything to Krogunk, I don't think, other than knock off my Eevee Light, and I'm fine with that. I should win one on one. He probably has knockoff, insert fighting move, probably, probably drain punch. I'm guessing he doesn't have the, the fake out because he didn't go for it. Uh, U-turn, I would assume. And I don't know what his other move is. I feel pretty safe going for a drain punch here to get back the health from whatever he goes for. As he does go for the knockoff, that doesn't do much. And a drain punch does 57%. So even without our Eevee Light, if that's all he has to go for, he's going to switch out and sacrifice the Abra, actually. That should be the game. That should be the game because we have Baltoy. So I'm kind of happy that I saved that because I don't think a knockoff from this will kill it. So we can just go for Drain Punch. That in the combination with Vacuum Wave should win us the game. He's going to have to get two crits. He needs to have something to hit me with that's not resisted, first of all, against Krogunk, which I don't know if he does. And if he, even if he does, he has to get a crit, because I don't think it's going to kill me. Because Kerm is just too, too cool for school. We'll see what he goes for here, as he's taking his time thinking about his move, and he's just going to forfeit. Oh, he had the, oh, he just went for knockoff. Maybe he was choiced? I wonder if he was choice scarf. I, or choice ban me? I feel like that's that couldn't have been banded damage because that really did nothing. Uh, I don't know, but we're gonna give him a GG, and he left anyway, so it doesn't matter. We did get up to 1321 on the ladder, so that's pretty cool, uh, and that's gonna be the end of this session. So it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the crow gunk and the uh, ducklet especially. But uh, that's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do, and I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.